Hello Leo, welcome on my channel, Triple Chew Tarot. This is your girl TM and I'm back with another reading for you guys. So this is the Leo reading for June 2020, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, any planets if you have in Leo. If this reading resonates with you, this is for you. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. But you can come to me for personal if you want it. Let's see what is happening for my Leos. What is the theme for you guys? And then I will check up the reading um, from the tarot, who is coming towards you in love. So maybe you're dealing with Aries, Taurus, and Pisces, okay? So what I'm picking up here, the theme for you in this month here is that 12th house. This is talking about your faith, your belief, um, your emotions, your, your feelings, and also it could be your hidden enemies that will come uh, on the surface, and you will know it, who likes you, who dislikes you what this person's intentions are. Maybe you're dealing with your partner and you will know the intentions of this person or uh, people around you, okay, their intentions will also on the, come on the surface. Okay, you will know there are a lot of things about other people's. This is also talking about your faith, your belief. With this Aries here, uh, you're really working hard on your something that really passionate about it, to do something. There is something that is motivating you really passionate this is like keep going keep going you're not f giving up on something uh, that could be your career that could be your business that could be even though you're a haters and the people who are really playing mind games with you you will still not give up you will keep going uh, we have the Taurus energy here that is talking about some stability here that is talking this is ruled by Venus so this is talking about love maybe maybe a uh, secret love affair with someone or maybe you will find out that the person that you're dealing with they have some secret affairs are there's something come on the surface that what i'm picking up here you will know the truth basically in this month you will find out the truth about this person your relationships your workers your business your job anything that will show you the path to do that and you will not give up you will follow your passion you will follow uh, there is something that is motivating you some of you maybe you got aggressive you know so be careful uh, because there is some type of aggression here through the people who are hating on you Maybe you, you are in the business in a public eye or something. Maybe you're a healer or empath because we have telt house. Like you're a spiritual person, you're a guidance. So people will definitely haunt and come towards you to get your uh, peace, okay? So be careful. And they will be really, maybe you get aggressive or these people will get aggressive. So we have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So maybe someone from your past or could be current partner is coming for another chance. If someone cheated on you or lied to you or someone, you know, have affair, and they are coming for forgiveness. So pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Mm. Wow, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning definitely. This could be someone is coming for another chance. Look at this. Give your relationship chance and reconciliation. Someone really wants another chance with you. Or maybe you, you're willing to be with this person. You know, you're thinking about it. About renewal, rekindle of some some type of relationship with someone, but this is like a reconciliation, giving the relationship a chance, even though this person hurt you or even though this person was not stable, but you are becoming stable. Pay attention to the red flags talking about that. You already you need to pay the attention to the signs that universe is guiding you or trust your intuition. You know, you know the thing that what you have to do in this situation. We have indicate, yeah, there's something here that uh, worthless or something. We have discussed it, yeah. Oh my God. What type of feeling is this? We have creative. So yeah, I feel that you guys are creative or this will be a lot of creative energy that is really motivating you to do something with the Aries energies. You're really passionate about your work. Are you guys are really creative? Are you will do some creative work in this month? When the Taurus is also creative work here. So there is something that is, uh, you know, showing your creativity, showing your art, showing your skills, you know, starting some new business or works, projects maybe, or maybe in a new job. That is, you're not giving up. Maybe there is a people who are haters and animals, you know, enemies around uh, your workplace, but you still not give up. You will show the world that what you are. So what we had is that there is something that you feel worthless and disgusted with someone. And that person is coming towards you for another chance or they feel maybe vice versa if you're cross watch or maybe you're feeling this way towards Leo. If they cheated on you or if they lied to you, you know, and you don't want to give them a chance or maybe whatever, whoever this person is, I feel that your feeling will be disgusted with these people, whoever these haters and liars or manipulative people are coming around you. You will see it. You will see it that who is a trash here. Because we have this worthiness, you will feel like this person is not worth to my weight or, you know, worth to my effort or something. You will feel it. That's what, what the whole month is talking about, some truths, creativity, doing your own th things, doing your own stuff. So maybe you need to pay attention to the people who are definitely, you know, 
manipulating or backstabbing at your back okay so be careful maybe you know you maybe know you know that who is putting the spell on you who know you you know that who is this person behaving and doing anything to disgust you and you will feel disgusted with this person this could be family member this could be co-workers or maybe a partner I strongly feel someone wants to con reconcile with you from a past, coming back for another chance. It's up to you if you want to give them a chance or not. Maybe you, because this is your theme here. You want to reconcile or give this relationship a chance, okay? So that's what I'm picking up here. Now let's see who is coming towards you in love. Who is this person? Leo, coming towards you in love. King of Pentacles could be Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ten of Cups. Water energy, the Fool, Aquarius. Queen of Wands, here you are. This is your energy, Leo. Does not have to be if you're female, male or female that you're dealing with. Yeah, we have bottom of the deck chariot. So this could be a Cancer. Look at this all major arcana. Could be Cancer, could be Aquarius. We also have the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter here, Sagittarius or Pisces. We have Fire, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Water, we have Earth energy here. Um... I'm also picking up someone maybe have their Jupiter in Aquarius or Cancer that you're dealing with or, you know, Jupiter in Leo maybe or you have this. So whoever this person is coming towards you, the chariot, they really want to date you. Look at this bottom of the deck, death, Scorpio. Wow, all these major arcana. This is someone from your past. It's up to you if you will give this person a chance and not Leo. And if you're willing to wait for this person, wow. So your wait is over. We have the death card. This is someone that you have been separated for longer time, no contact. The chariot, this person is coming. You know, or maybe they're leaving something behind for you. They're leaving something behind for you because the time is changing. Wheel of Fortune, this is your fate. This is your destiny. You can say your karmic. Uh, this is what karma is. Destiny is bringing you guys together, whoever this person is. This could be someone new. Yeah, this could be someone new that you are dating right now. You, you want to talk to this person. Maybe this is the online dating or online, you know, talking with someone. Maybe you're done with the past. And for others of you, this is someone um, from your past is coming. Seven of Wands. Maybe you blocked this person. There was a resistance from this person. But this person is coming with the fool. Again, second chance. Second chance. New beginning. The Wheel of Fortune. This talk about destiny. Fate. Bringing you guys together. Like the time is changed. The, this person is changed. They're ready to be with you. And they really want to fight for this love for you. Because Ten of Cups. Because you make them happy. And they really want to fight for this love. They really want to fight for this union with you because we have king and queen. This is here. This person sees you as um, the one. You know, this person sees you as that you are the, maybe you are already married with this person with the ten of cups and king and queen, okay? You have children, you have family with this person and this person is coming. Whatever reason was, maybe you got separated and finally this person is coming, you know, for reconciliation to rekindle this, uh, you know, want to fight for this, want to fight uh, for your family, for you to save this connection. Wheel of Fortune also, it's like a good luck. So whoever this person is coming, it's a more good luck for you. Turning in your favor, the fool is talking about, you know, definitely in the future. So this person is coming. This person is like a new beginning for you, new uh, fresh breath of uh, fresh air for you. This could be someone new. This could be someone from a past, but totally transformed and changed with the death energy. They, they've gone through some transition. They've gone through this transformation and they're coming. They're not the same like before, okay? Maybe they were fool behind. Before, like they were really a not um, non-committal type of person, maybe Sagittarius or Aquarius. I'm also picking up Gemini or Libra energy very strongly here. We have the Chariot, Cancer maybe. So this is like I don't see this person has a Sun in Cancer. There is something Moon rising or Venus in Cancer. So this person has difficulty to express it or to settle down or commit it. But now this person is ready. This person is coming. The wheel is turning. I feel that in your favor. So be ready for that because if you're a queen, if you're a king, this person is coming. You're going to meet your divine counterpart. You're going to meet your destined partner, I would say, because we have the fate here, the wheel of fortune. This is also talking about be patient because this person is coming. If you're, uh, if you're waiting for someone, it's coming. And if you're single for a long time and you're resisting that, you're saying, no, I don't want to deal with anyone because um, I want something serious. Ten of cups, I really want someone. I really want my family. I really want to settle down. I really want to be with someone that who protect me, who give me security, that you're looking for the one. So with the Wheel of Fortune is talking about that this person is coming. Uh, so be patient, wait for the right time and perfect timing. Because this is a divine is definitely bringing this person in your life. Whoever this person, someone from a past or someone new, 
this is universe plan you can't whenever i see the wheel of fortune i feel that this is like you can't escape it you have to deal with it you have to meet this person this is your karma this is your destiny like this is like destiny is bringing you guys together it's up to you if you will you know move forward with this person or not but this is i'm, I'm picking up dating here some of you may be settled down or you know you know living together with the ten of cups and the chariot this is here maybe someone from your definitely for far from you and coming to see you or meet you because there's a distance here but whoever this person is they really want to be with you universe is bringing you this person and they really want to be with you they see the one they see that you are the one look at this they see that you are the one you are the perfect match for them that's what i'm picking up here so this is your reading give the thumbs up subscribe my channel i will see you guys in the next video bye god bless you all